5 Reasons to Ditch Windows and Mac OS Number 1. Free Yourself from Corporate Control If you hate Microsoft forcing you to use a Microsoft account on Windows 11, or the fact that you cannot fully disable telemetry, means you should try an alternative, free and open source operating system, such as Linux. There are many beginner-friendly distros such as Ubuntu and Linux Mint, as well as Peppermint OS, Bhoti Linux, and Pop OS. These are all user-friendly distros perfect for a newcomer to Linux. Mac users can also look at using Linux if they want to move away from Apple. Number 2. Save Money By using a free operating system, you will save a lot of costs, especially if you have an older PC or two laying around. Instead of buying a new copy of Windows 10 or 11, why not try a Linux distro instead? Like I said, there are beginner-friendly distros out there that will help keep the transition to Linux pretty smooth. Number 3. Make that old PC fast again. If you're experiencing sluggishness with your PC or Mac, it might be time to switch operating systems. Go with a lightweight Linux distribution if your PC lacks power, such as Linux Lite, Lubuntu or Puppy Linux. These distros revive older hardware really well, even a PC from 2008 or earlier should be able to run these distros with no caveats. Number 4. Stop paying absurd prices for proprietary software. Sick of Adobe Photoshop's insane price tag, or Microsoft's ever-increasing expense of Windows? Give free and open source software a try. GIMP is a perfect Photoshop replacement that has everything you need, nothing you don't. Linux Mint is the best distro to go to if you do not like Windows 11, as it is pretty easy to use, has great software support, and works well even on lower end hardware. Finally, in at number 5, you are supporting a niche group of users. Since Linux has very small market share on desktop PCs, I think more people should give this amazing free and open source system a try, since there's so much range, but, I do understand and acknowledge that Linux is not for everyone, most people would probably struggle to install a Linux distro, so I think before you start using Linux, you need to read up about it, see what's involved with using Linux, and, find tutorials on how to flash a Linux distro to a USB, and install it on a physical PC. Be sure you keep a copy of your existing OS, if you ever want to use it again. Otherwise, you can happily wipe Windows or Mac OS off of your system, and replace it with one of the many thousands of Linux distros. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye for now.